everybody welcome back to my youtube channel my name is becky and today we are going to be installing an outdoor ceiling fan um, it's a small porch uh, there is a light already in the ceiling so there's electrical going through it so when you go and choose your fan you want to make sure that it's the correct fan for the correct space you want to make sure that the size is correct uh, this is a small area so it's going to be a smaller fan and you wanna make sure that if it is an outdoor area that you wanna get an outdoor fan. So a few things before you start, make sure your uh, electrical is off before you start taking the light apart. Uh, you're gonna need a ladder and you're gonna need a few basic tools such as a screwdriver and possibly a pair of vice grips uh, maybe to un untighten some of the screws because sometimes they get rusty with the original light that's up there. Um, make sure you unpack the fan uh, before you start putting everything together just to make sure you count all your parts and make sure you have everything. Um, make sure you have the remote control and that it's set to the frequency uh, that matches the frequency box in the fan uh, that you want it to go. If you have other fans in your house that have uh, a similar frequency box that have remotes, you want to make sure that they're not crossing each other. So uh, make sure before you install the fan that you uh, check the others in your house to make sure which frequency they're on. Place, all we're gonna do is remove the light housing, make sure that the bracket is already installed and uh, set the fan up. So here we go. have uh, removed the light on top of the ceiling uh, but I just want to make a quick note that um, the fan that we've chosen uh, came the piece looking like this is what I need to attach onto the ceiling however it was inside and I didn't realize that at the time it just pops out and it looks like this it's got a ground wire so we're going to attach this next onto the ceiling Okay, so after careful, careful review of the instructions, which were incredibly confusing, I think I figured out how to put this thing together. So instead of, uh, we did a ceiling fan before where we had to wire it first and then assemble the fan itself. In this case, that's not the case. Uh, you have to assemble the fan first and then we'll do the wiring. So what I'm gonna do is pretty much step by step. So I have the motor housing here and I have the uh, wire that is going to attach to the receiver box here. And then these two wires are going to attach to the uh, bracket on the ceiling. So what I have to do is pretty much step by step. Um, so we're going to take this outer piece, outer housing piece, and put it through here. Oh, whoops, other way. Okay, then I have to take this piece down here and this piece down here and then here is where my ground wire is to the fan so this has to be threaded through here so I've kind of got a hodgepodge going on here but uh, so here is there's a hole here and there's a hole here, which is where this cotter pin has to go. So I'm just trying to put all of that together now. So the cotter pin goes through here. This is what holds the fan to the mount, cotter pin. Okay, cotter pin is in place and then uh, I need a screwdriver. So we're going to tighten these screws down here. The cotter pin is in place. Okay. And now this piece can go down here. So now I am attached to the uh, motor housing. And now we are going to put the box on. So this is the uh, the piece that just covers the outer uh, bracket on the ceiling, 
and then this piece covers that so it all had to be in place before we bring it up there so now we're going to bring it up there and attach it to the uh, ceiling bracket all right okay okay so now we have the assembly and we are just going to hold it like that and now we need to wire it together so here are my positive and negative wires so you're just going to match them white with white uh, in this case it's going to be black and red and then my green wire which uh, i'm sort of confused about this green wire i don't know why it's in there this green wire is part of the fan and therefore needs to be mounted to the bare wire that's coming out of the ceiling so uh, we're going to wire that up right now. So we'll just add this. So I'm going to put the red wire with the black wire and white with white. Make sure they're twisted on really tight so that they don't fall out. And then we are going to kind of fold this together. This is the receiver because this is the antenna and we've already uh, changed our frequency codes so that they don't interfere with any of the other fans in the house. And we're just going to going to slide this up in here. There we go. And then you're going to hide all these wires inside the housing. And then if I can see where the screw is on this side. And then we're just going to twist this in. And then can you hand me the next two screws from the screwdriver? screw and all these screws are doing is holding this uh, metal housing in place they don't really serve a purpose other than just that so then we can toss this up over it and this just snaps into place get it up there and you twist it and should be good. So now we've mounted the uh, mounted the um, the motor part, and now we're going to install the blades and uh, connect the light. Okay, so now we are going to uh, install the fan blades, and in this particular case, they do not screw in; uh, they snap in. So we're just going to snap them in. Yep. Wow, yeah, they're hot. Yeah. <laughs> They've been sitting in the sun too long. 
Okay. And now I need light. Thank you. So there's only two in the light. There's just a positive and negative. And there is a little tiny clip. I guess it's a safety clip. It just attaches it right here. Like so, so it can hang. And then all we're gonna do is black on black and white on white, positive and negative. Hey everybody, so we just turned the power back on and we're going to test the fan and the light to see if they work. So, oh, there's the light and there's the fan, fan works. So it's got three settings, so I'm just going to go down one, down two, and turn it off. And I just also found out this cool feature. I thought I would have to screw the light in place to hold it, but it does not. Just shut the wires down in here. It is magnetic. It's a pretty cool feature. Uh, so that's it. Fan's now installed and work and runs. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.